Okay folks, so here we are today on a uh, balmy uh, February afternoon in Minnesota and we're here at our St. Cloud, Minnesota office um, doing some scans with the X7 and we scan the uh, whole interior of our office and now we did a scan in the doorway we want to bring it outside because if you can see it's a beautiful uh, six degree uh, sunny day here in St. Cloud. I think the wind chill says it's uh, seven below. So we're gonna take the X7 outside and show you guys how um, this lets us scan in really cold conditions and uh, lets us keep working when we need to in these types of regions with the weather that we get. So um, if you wanna pan over here, Matt, you see we have the X7 sitting outside and I have it hooked up to my computer because we're making space so I'm gonna get the scan started. Okay, so we're gonna start the scan and the scanner is going. So we'll do two scans out here. Again, it's six degrees and uh, 11 below wind chill. And you'll see that the X7 will perform flawlessly. And then we'll show you what the data looks like when we're finished. Thank you. So here we're gonna start scanning station number 21, which is outside. You can see that we have our register set to our last scan, which is scan 20. And scan 20 was done in the doorway. So this allows us to go from the inside and scan in the doorway and then effectively connect to the outside. So we're now outside, scan 20 is, is done. We are downloading to perspective. And then once we download, the scanner is going through the image capture process and it will start working on the auto registration 2.20. So that is just about wrapping up. Auto registration is complete. We get a green, which means it's good. And you can see now that scan 21 is automatically placed properly where it's supposed to be. And I'm just going to go into the station properties and go ahead and have it process the images and colorize the point cloud while we're scanning. Now we can pick up and we can move on to scan station number 22. Okay, here we are on scan number two outside. Uh, a little windy here, but uh, you can see we're still outside of our building here. And I have this scan in high sensitivity mode because we have the scanner in between two black cars. So we're going a little crazy here, not only is it really, really cold and really windy, but we're also going to scan some black cars. So now we've completed our second scan outside, scan number 22 between the two black cars, and we went ahead and did a third one, number 23, just because of the cold and testing it out, and there just happened to be another black vehicle there. So now we're gonna bring the data into Trimble Realworks and switch it to true color, because the data has been colorized, and take a look at this car. Now this is just a preview scan, so it's not all of the data, uh, but you can see it still looks pretty, uh, pretty clean, pretty dense. Um, I'm going to open this up and go into the Scan Explorer, which we can do with the X7, similar to what we're used to with the TX8. And we're going to find our second outdoor scan from this morning and locate our black car. You can kind of see where we're at outside. And now I'm going to zoom in and cut out the point cloud just for this black car. So again, the scan was done outside, all three of these. It's about six degrees outside, seven below wind chill, rather windy day, and we're scanning um, some black vehicles in the high sensitivity mode for the X7 to see what we get for data. So we're going to bring our data into our RealWorks project here, and it looks like we end up with oh, a little over a million points on that car in that area. And if we switch back over to RealWorks and isolate that view, and zoom in, you can now see the amount of detail that we got on that nice shiny black car outside. So all in all, we're pretty impressed with the X7 today. We had it sitting outside in the cold for quite a while actually, and had no failures and no issues. And again, with the high sens sensitivity mode, um, I had no problem scanning that car. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.